Hey comrades, so this is January 1st, Happy New Year. It was definitely worth arriving here late last night. Check out those backdrops. Tons of leaves. So I've talked to that couple, I'm gonna come back to them later. They're actually okay with me uh, doing rig walk around. We just talked about things outside, but uh, I haven't checked out inside. And that's actually XP camper. Very expensive, out of my league, but I'm still curious. And it's on, uh, yeah, custom flat deck. So now it's low tide, I actually walked quite a, quite a little bit distance behind this uh, rock formation. Not, I didn't see any oyster or mussels gathering here. It's such a beautiful place, but weirdly for gathering, there's not much. I'm just gonna try for clams right now. Fishing offshore, some people said that have been staying here for quite a few weeks. Uh, offshore, nothing, but it's a really good place for uh, snorkeling, scuba diving, and uh, I think. Those are Jean, I think those guys are from Argentina, no, Spain. They've been on the road for about 18 years, actually traveled most of the world now in that Delica. And they started with Delica 18 years ago. They put 400,000 kilometers on that thing. Lots of repairs and so on, but still it's surviving. So those guys were doing spear fishing around that island and say it's amazing over there big fish like successful well, yeah let's check what this place actually looks like from the sky some guys living in this van right here they gotta be at work on Monday and I have to be on Tuesday but I'm gonna call in make it Wednesday or Thursday come back uh, some people leave some people come the van just left but two pop-up campers arrived that's what I meant uh, Grand Canyon north northern rim on the sea it's these rock formations right there and it's not sunny right now and actually during sunset when this stuff gets a little bit more orangey yellowish it just looks like sunsets at the Grand Canyon it really does plus a little bit of that greenish growth it's just like northern rim southern rim is more uh, deserty more desolate kind of thing whereas north rim 
is uh, more green and lush and there's actually trees as you try to approach from the north the actual like canyon drop-offs at different points like Toro Weep uh, uh, well I forgot the names now of uh, a bunch of them that I visited uh, but yeah you actually go through bushes and trees and all that kind of stuff yeah. what I'm gonna do now I got some snorkeling gear out I haven't snorkeled yet the water is uh, kind of coolish. I think, uh, yeah, that's it. I have to bite the bullet. And because there's nothing to gather here, and fishing offshore, those guys said no one had any luck for the past week or two on the spear fishing or like uh, taking kayak and going behind islands. There, there is fishing. Besides that, have nothing really to gain here. So I may as well try snorkeling and maybe like pick up something. We'll just see what's up and for the first time ever I never shot underwater footage really I'm gonna use this GoPro to try to capture some of that yeah the snorkeling isn't happening so I got in the water up to here very close by the shore it's really nice warm water but as soon as I walked up to here it's just like no I'm not that kind of Russian I'm not used to cold water I hear like no uh, in Mexico, in Puerto Vallarta, like summertime, oh, absolutely love water. But whenever I traveled by plane in the winter time to those places back in the day, um, I just kind of sticked around to pool water because they heated it up a little bit, or from sun. Like I didn't in the winter time, I didn't swim in the ocean, in the sea. But the road to the island cleared up. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna have it. So I'll go over there explore. It's time to do some exploring. I'm not sure how much I got time till uh, tide is gonna start coming in. It's probably like at least a good hour. Took uh, here in the back. Uh, took my little fishing rod. I'm just gonna try to cast over the other side. See if I manage to get anything at all. Uh, would be cool. I do see lots and lots of little holes, but I tried digging and digging, super dig digging and nothing. But usually you can tell if you're on a like sort of clammy beach, if there are clams in the area. Usually there are lots of shells on the shore, like in the woods, in the shore, in the tide, tied out water, you, you can see it, whereas here, I, it's clear sandy beach pretty much I don't see anything it was such a good bird that did used to be a big oyster but it's obviously been gathered by people around here occasional corals here to be picked up either from back in the day or because the other pool is relatively not too south this is untouched oyster I'm gonna Pop that guy. So this little island thing maybe will yield me something good. So I see one here. I'm not sure if this is a rock. Ah, oh, it's just an empty shell. Alright, let's let's get down to this one. Hard to get it off the actual rock, but I still have it right here. So let's try what we taste like over here. Come on, come on you. Mm -hmm. oh, I dropped it. Oh, I got this part of meat right here. Let's see. Mm, as usual, very sweet, very yummy. Delicious. Okay, let's gather some more. Another oyster right out of water on the side, on the seaside here. Mm. Salty deliciousness.
whole island in distance looks absolutely cool. Camera doesn't portray it as much. There's like some hurus kind of sticking out and the white sort of caps, whitish color going through them. All right, so this is the other end of this little island thingy. This is where the campgrounds are. Yeah, maybe casting from here should do the job. Have to open it this way. It's gotta work a little harder. Oh, there you go. There you go. Actually, this may not be an oyster. No, it is an oyster of some kind. Maybe not. Some kind of a clammy finny. Yeah, it's a clammy finny. Whatever it is, no idea. This part scavenged. This is my little bait for the hook, actually. a few casts, there's uh, well nothing, there's some of these clammy, more clammy things, kind of stuck to the rocks but I'm not sure how edible they are, I tried like a little piece of it, meat, yeah, it's okay, most of it is guts, so I'm gonna be returning to the camp, the tide is starting to come in, yeah, Nothing really together. Maybe I'll dig around sand again some more. But I did bump into one big muscle here, which was semi open. Something was already kind of eaten it. I tried to use this bait, but no success. There's uh, one guy in Toyota left, another guy left, then left, but this Californian came in uh, for a little camper. There are some guys from BC, uh, they've been here for nine years, coming by car to Baja. Uh, they usually stay at uh, Agua Verde, actual little town, just behind the hill over there, like further drive. But they never stopped on this beach. I guess they saw some cars from the road over there. And they're like, hey, let's check it out. So they just kind of explored the beach and uh, kept on going over there. Natural art right here. Pretty cool. Let's check it out. What are we gonna see? The whole cave there. Yeah, that's Tacoma. Tacoma guys' stuff. So maybe he drove to Puerto Verde. Uh, yeah, Puerto Verde town. I'm gonna come back. Maybe just refilling stuff. I got it. I got an oyster. Yeah, I think it's an oyster. It was just kind of like flipped this way. Like, hey, let's see what's here. So, found another one. Stuck on the other side of a rock. Oh, look at this. Ah, this is gonna be delicious. So, you just gotta look more carefully here. I guess uh, I'll be scouting a little bit more. Hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Now these are actually oysters. Here, here, but they're kind of flat, hugging the rock around, so I have to actually take the rocks home kind of thing. I can't separate the oysters. Here's another one, big one, but stuck to the rock, hugging it. There's uh, another one right here. Oh. Just when I looked, first time I wasn't careful. But looking at this, definitely oysters to be had here. That's my little supper. Hard to see them in general, 
and there isn't a whole lot but this is a big one and uh, we're just the kind that of it's possible to separate from rocks pretty much but uh, these are decent like very good sizes here but also gonna be hard to dig into so that, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna take me a good half an hour to do all that but it's gonna be worth it a little bit of parks and recreation for a very tough job here but look at the size of this oyster yeah it took me several minutes to crack that one check out this sunset or it's coming to sunset with god rays amazing Wow, that sunset was absolutely amazing. And so this concludes today. Tomorrow I'll be pushing to Bahia de Tartuga. And then, uh, yeah, it's a long drive. It's something like eight hours. So I set my alarm clock to 6 a.m. Maybe I'll wake up, be on my way 7.30. And maybe, hopefully, I'll arrive somewhere before sunset. So I at least get to see where, where I'm staying. And then day after, I'll uh, cruise while well, I ever camp out or move to a camping spot and uh, or cruise around the place. All right, till next episode. Hey comrades, don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should by hitting that subscription button and also bell notification next to it. So you can actually get my video updates, both in notification and your video feed. And as well, you can support this channel if you like my videos through PayPal or Patreon in the links down below or just after this video.